are looking good and we made good time today at this rate we'll be at winsome falls by tomorrow we should do the annual big sister little sister camping trip every weekend then it wouldn't be annual and if we did it every weekend it probably wouldn't be as special but the more we do it the better we get at camping remember the first time we came here and rarity had that ginormous tent i heard that <laughs> i've gotten much better at roughing it haven't i Yep. This time you only pack three suitcases. I know what you're thinking, but I promise I only brought the essentials. Like those light thingies? Of course. What is life if you can't make it beautiful? Mmm. These berries look good enough to eat. Don't! According to my book, they're extremely poisonous! <sighs> what? I heard something. I stepped on something, and I saw that creepy cave. I guess I still get a little bit scared out here, even after the last camping trip. Don't worry, kid. You've got a big sister this time. This looks amazing. This is going to be the best big sister slash little sister camping trip ever! Ow. <laughs> my little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? are from the Luna Bay area. Never seen them this far east, though. Probably attracted to the food. Best wait here until they're gone. Oh, apple rot. What are we supposed to do now? We had games to play and marshmallows to roast at camp. And here we got nothing. Mm, that's not entirely true. We have each other. That's right. And if you girls want to, maybe we could tell some stories to pass the time. You want stories? <laughs> I've got a ton of stories. Spoiler alert, they're all about me and how awesome I am. I was thinking more like campfire stories. But we don't even have a campfire. I got this. Wow, that was brave. Uh, <laughs> it was no biggie. <coughs> we aren't going to tell scary stories like our last camping trip, are we? <sighs> it's bad enough just being in here. Don't worry, Scootaloo. I was gonna tell you mine and Apple Bloom's favorite legend. Oh, you mean Rock Hook? I love that one! He was so strong and when he... Apple Bloom? Shh! We haven't heard it yet! Oh, okay. But it's so good! Well, it's true. Rock Hook was known far and wide for his incredible strength. But he didn't start out that way. You see, Rock Hook was a tiny little fella, the son of a farmer. Just like us. <laughs> They lived in a village that sat at the foot of a gigantic volcano. And the village was protected by an elite group of guard ponies called the Mighty Hell. <laughs> 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 
young Rock Hoof wanted nothing more than to be part of the Mighty Helm. But he was told that he was too scrawny and weak to protect the village. But Rock Hoof wouldn't take no for an answer. Then, one fateful day, the volcano erupted! This is my favorite part! What happened next? The molten lava poured down the side of the volcano. And try as they might, the mighty helm couldn't figure out a way to save the village. They had to evacuate. But the village ponies didn't want to leave their homes. They spent their entire lives there. They had nowhere else to go. So Rock Hoof decided to do something crazy. He thought if he could divert the flow of the lava, he might be able to save his village. He started digging a trench. Wait a minute. All by himself? It'd be impossible for one pony to dig a trench fast enough to stop the lava. I mean, even I couldn't do that. <laughs> Good thing Rock Hoof didn't believe in the word impossible. He continued to work, knowing the odds were against him, but determined to push through. Then, something magical happened. visibly stronger, but the lava was getting closer. <laughs> Through his extraordinary determination and sheer force of will, Rock Hoof more than earned his place in the mighty hell. <laughs> <laughs> well, All right! Oh, yeah. yeah! Good story, Applejack. Even if it wasn't about me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that story, no matter how many times I hear it. Why don't we see if it's safe to head back to camp? Uh, girls? There is no camp to go back to. <laughs> Sweetie Belle, not to worry. How? Our camp was so pretty and this cave is so... not. Oh, no, 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 no. Not true. There's beauty in everything. Even these blah rocks aren't really blah. If you look closely, you can see flecks of gold in them. And the way the firelight dances on the cave wall, shadow and light, oh, it's so gorgeous. Sweetie Belle. Have I ever told you about my favorite legend? No, I didn't know you had one. Her name was Mistmane. Mistmane? Isn't she the old wrinkly sorceress with the flower? Yes, but did you know she used to be the most beautiful unicorn in all the land? No. So what happened to her? Well, Mistmane was a very promising young sorceress. She was as talented as she was beautiful and kind. Every pony loved her and missed her when she was sent to the finest magic school. While she was gone, she was delighted to find out that her best friend, Sable Spirit, was crowned empress. She couldn't wait to return home once she finished her studies. But once she arrived, she was devastated by what she saw. What happened here? The Empress happened. She makes every pony work day and night on her palace. We don't have time to take care of anything else. Well, that can't be. I know her. She would never do this. 
there was no denying what was in front of her. Sable Spirit took everything that was beautiful away from any pony else. And Miss Mane was sure there had to be some explanation. I'd assume there was too, if some pony told me either one of you two'd gone evil. Yeah, I'd never believe it. I don't know. I've seen the way you two get when you miss breakfast. <laughs> Just kidding, but I'd want answers too. So did Miss Mane. She went to confront her friend. Sable, is that you? Don't tell me you don't recognize your old friend. I don't. My friend would never work our families and friends to the bone for something as silly as a palace. Silly? My palace is a beacon of beauty. Any pony who passes will be in awe of its majesty. What good is a pretty palace if it just hides the misery of its ponies? Beauty is everything. You taught me that. What? You were always the pretty one. You got to go to the best magic school. Every pony missed you. Every pony loved you. I admit I was jealous. So I tried to perform a spell that would make me beautiful. You can see how that went. <gasps> I vowed if I couldn't have beauty, I would take it. I wasn't chosen to be empress, you know. I took it! Just like I'm going to take everything else. I can't let you do that. Let me? Sable Spirit was defeated, and that was that. But Miss May knew there was more she could do to help. Beauty isn't everything, but Miss May knew that it does have the power to make Pony smile. She made a huge sacrifice to bring that smile back to her friends and family's faces, including Sable Spirit's. You did this for me? Even after I was so cruel? Sable Spirit was so touched that she vowed to be more like her friend in the ways that mattered. From then on, she ruled with kindness and compassion. Even though she gave away her physical beauty, she dedicated her life to spreading beauty all over Equestria. Anytime you go out of your way to brighten some pony's day by doing something like giving them flowers, you're following in the hoofsteps of Mist Mane. I think she's my favorite legend, too. <laughs> Well, like it or not, we're food too. And I've got the bites to prove it. What are we gonna do? They're almost here! What? Now those bugs can't get in. <laughs> and we can't get out! <laughs> Let's all just stay calm. Let me relight this fire. We just have to wait until the swarm moves on. Then we'll think of a way out. How long will that be? No bears live in caves! Uh, uh. Whoa, 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 Scootaloo. You're focusing on the wrong things. You have a plan? Close. 
I have a story. Let me guess. It's about you? Practically. It's about my favorite legend, Flash Magnus. Wasn't he the pony who took on the dragons? Dragons? Big scary mean ones are like Spike. Oh, these were definitely the big scary mean kind. <sighs> but not too scary. You can sit closer to me if you want. A long time ago, before the Wonderbolts were even founded, Flash Magnus was a lowly cadet in the Royal Legion. And the Legion needed to fly over the Dragonlands to get to their comrades on the other side. But as they got closer to the dragons, the dragons attacked! Just hang in there, I promise you'll like the ending. So, like I was saying, Flash Magnus and the Royal Legion tried to get past the dragons. But the dragons wouldn't let them. Every pony, retreat! Flash Magnus and a few other cadets were separated from the battalion. But the dragons captured his friends and took them back to their lair. Ah! Commander, we need to save our captured comrades. I appreciate your loyalty, Flash Magnus, but getting past those dragons is going to be impossible. Nothing will work. Dragons, but you can outthink them. Commander Ironhead, I'm pretty sure I can outfly the dragons. If I can lure them into chasing me, you can all sneak into the lair and retrieve our friends before they get back. Are you really willing to take that chance, soldier? I am, sir. It's a very brave thing you're doing. You'll need all the help you can get. Is this Natitis? The fireproof shield? It has protected Legion heroes for generations, and today, I can't think of a worthier flank for Natitis to protect. Good luck, soldier. Hey! Come and get me, fire breath! If you can! Hey! Hey! Come and get me! Hey, I'm over here! While Flash Magnus bravely flew for his life, Commander Ironhook was able to get his soldiers back. Flash Magnus flew like the wind!
to see if we can get out the other way. You mean go further into the dark, spooky cave? Scootaloo, just remember the story. Gotta be brave like me and Flash Magnus, okay? I hear water! And if there's flowing water, then... It might lead to the way out. Oh, okay. On three. One, two, three! ourselves a shortcut to win some falls. Oh, it's never looked so beautiful. Well, almost. <gasps> we sure are sorry that our camping trip wasn't what we hoped it would be. Are you kidding? This trip is awesome! It is? We got to hear legendary stories and go on an adventure. Wait, you three want to stay? Of course we do! We could turn those trees into a nice little shelter. We can get you some big logs and branches to help build it. And I bet we can find some more berries. Come on. I can't wait to see what happens 